Hey, last week I turned 26 and it's not a big milestone if you say so, but it was important for me because I'm closer to 30 now and it can sound really scary. So I sat down and I wrote down everything that I thought that it was important that I learned in the last few years. So I collected 12 things that I consider as my main life lessons. And today I would love to share it with you because I think it is important to share these thoughts and ideas with each other. So let's see them. It's okay if you don't know what you want to do with your life. This period of time is not about knowing exactly what you want to do with your life. It's more about experiencing and, and figuring out things on your own and learning your own lessons. And it's totally fine if you're not knowing what your next step is gonna be. You're just growing as a person through all of these struggles and and problems and experiences so this means that we make a lot of mistakes and we have tons of questions about things we don't understand because we have so many questions and uncertainties but these are totally okay and it's also really fine if you don't know the answers of all of these questions if you don't figure out things and I think that all of these has to happen in this exact age and later on everything will be fine and we will figure out things later it's just not the time for it and if we won't figure out things later then we won't and it's still fine so don't worry about it friends come and go even if you have considered each other as siblings for years and you were completely inseparable still it means actually well sadly nothing because people change and we have different plans and path and, uh, and sometimes we can't go on the same track with them or we have to let them go and i can talk sadly through experience but this shit can hurt as much as a breakup i think but never forget there's nothing wrong with you because it is part of life and people really do change and uh, and it's totally fine if you think if you feel like that you can't change with them that you don't really like the new person it's it's a hard feeling and it's hard to realize it but eventually you have to do it and uh, maybe you will find someone else that you're connected with or maybe you will find each other later again so it can still have a happy ending maybe just maybe you just need some time always put yourself first in this way you will have less problems because if you don't look at yourself as the most important person in your life, then anything can distract you from your plans and goals and dreams. The people out there can really sense that you don't believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, then why would they believe in you? If you don't try the things you would like to try deep down in your heart, you will regret it later. Of course, I don't think about anything extreme or unachievable here. I talk about the things when the only question that holds you back from actually doing it is what will everybody think? Because the answer is, why would it matter? Why, why is it important? Like, it doesn't, it, it's not important at all. Because 90% of the time people don't even care about it. And if you enjoy what you're doing, then why would you care about them, actually? If you, if you don't try it, years later, you will really regret it when you don't have the opportunity to, to try it out. So, I don't rush you, but start and try it. <laughs> you can be a kid, you don't have to act as an adult 100% of the time. 
enjoy life, have fun, make yourself ridiculous, run around with love and joy. Just enjoy life and forget about your problems for a moment. These moments are actually priceless. You are never alone, even if you feel like it. You will always find someone who will understand you, who you can talk to, who will help with your problems or anything. This may not be your close circle of friends or family, because if you think about it, nowadays you have tons of opportunities through social media or any online platform to talk to someone and ask for help. And you can also, you can always ask for professional help if you really feel like it and you have nothing to be ashamed of. I'd rather be surrounded by fewer people, but with these people I can be me. I've been sadly told before more times in the past that if I don't have a lot of friends that I'm a pitiful person and everyone will think that I'm not a fun person at all. And what's more, I will never find a boyfriend. And because of that, I've tried to befriend a lot of people and I followed this particular friend to social gatherings and I tried to talk to a lot of people but I've never felt felt comfortable actually and I always felt awful and I just wanted to escape from that situation but I acted like I enjoyed it and people really talked to me so I got to know more people yes but they weren't my friends and I didn't show them my true self. So if you don't feel comfortable around people or around a specific person, then don't force it because it's not worth it. It's better to have less friends, but with these people you can be you. That's more important than having a lot of fake friends um, just to be I don't know, popular, because it doesn't mean actually anything and you won't be a better person. And look at me, I have a boyfriend and I have a few friends, not much, but I have a few that I consider them as my best friends and are my true friends. So I think these things are more important than having tons of friends because at the end of the day it means actually nothing if your intuition tells you that something is not right for example about a situation or a person listen to it 99% of the time it will be right and no more worries needed just trust it just to make yourself look more interesting or cooler don't do things you otherwise wouldn't do. Just do what you feel like doing. Don't do things for other people. For example, I have never drunk alcohol in my life and I will never do it. And people actually don't understand it because they think that I have to have a reason for it, why I don't drink it. It just doesn't feel right for me. So that's the only reason why I don't drink any alcohol. When I got to the university, I had very strong struggles around this topic because everyone thought that it's necessary to drink alcohol and to have fun at a party or something, but it was never a case for me. I felt comfortable and I had fun and I danced all through the night. It doesn't matter. Just do, don't do things that you don't feel like doing that's it it's really important and yeah you need a little bit of self-control and dedication but if you really feel in your soul then you can do it it was a hard lesson for me but you're not always right and what's also incredibly important is to know when and how to say sorry because it can do so much 
good for you and for the others and you will feel incredibly good after you said sorry if it comes from your heart um, for some reason it is really not easy but maybe that's the reason why it has such a strong impact make as many memories as you can this can mean a lot of things like writing into your journal or taking pictures or talking to your web camera daily for a few minutes but do it because after some time it will mean so much to you because you will see how much you've developed as a person grown as a human being and and that's really important because it can really reassure you that you're going on the right way. Learn when to stop or slow down. It's really important to listen to your body and your mind. If you feel like you've experienced so much in the past few days or few weeks that, and, and you really feel like you need a break, then take it. I've learned that it is okay if nothing has happened throughout the day. I had so many struggles with it because every time I took a break I felt extremely guilty and I tried to recompensate after with hyper productivity which was such a broken mentality and I don't know I struggled with it for, for years. It took me a lot of time and it will take you a lot of time as well but if you're really trying to be gentle with yourself and help yourself to calm down and calm your body and mind you will feel really great afterwards and I don't know, I, all I want to say is you really deserve a break sometimes if you feel like life is too much and there's nothing wrong with it so these were my main life lessons uh, that I wanted to share with you and I hope that some of them helped you or maybe made you realize that you're not alone with these problems and if it happened that I'm really happy and I would really love to hear about your life lessons that maybe I didn't mention and I know there's a lot of life lessons that I haven't mentioned yet so I would really love to read your comments and your experiences Maybe we can exchange them and help each other because that's what this community is for. So if you like this video then I would I would be really happy if you would subscribe to this channel. I really think that creating a community like this is really needed nowadays um, in the social media life. So if you would like to calm your mind for a few minutes then you will always find my videos and I think that's all I wanted to say and have a wonderful weekend or have a wonderful week if you're watching it on a weekend weekday sorry um, see you in the next one bye